Here we go. My add-on and my UI setup. Sage Optimus is back. All right, here we go. I'm sure what I'm trying to show here is pretty simple. Okay, one, my add-ons that shows the debuff. If it's stun, if it's a stun, uh, my uh, stun or whatever CC shows here on the left side. And then as you can see, um, this nameplate here uh, is a a type that a uh, version of a, of a nameplate that I uh, that that allows you to have the combo points underneath uh, whatever I'm attacking. Okay, and the way I set up my um, frames, you know, my frame is on the bottom left, so I can see there when I, while I'm looking at my uh, UI, my abilities, and then the enemy is going to be on the top right, and then I have the combat log you can actually do this in-game combat log to where it's showing your damage in colors okay so again my CC it shows right there and uh, and then if you notice my damage as I do damage it shows an actual icon and the damage number and here we go you see it right there Let's do it again. Okay. One more game. One more game. So that was backstab. As you see, backstab did 25 damage. Okay, and it shows the icon of backstab. I dodge. So I can even you can even set up your um, add-ons to where if you're getting hit, it it'll you know it'll be. A different color or whatever color you want it's you know default as red um, mine I default in, in purple and then that's eviscerate uh, did 17 damage and I missed a regular hit and then he hit me for seven damage right there and then there's it also shows the overkill once you you finish him off. So here we go. How did I have it all set up this way? Let's get to it. Let's uh, fast forward it. The first thing you want to do right here, oops, is right here. You want to go on a uh, name, uh, go into settings, go to interface, names, and then under unit nameplates make sure you click on enemy units which is right here right there see names this is under interface names and then enemy units that simple because you want to do that because you want to you don't want to have double numbers showing up double damage showing up on your uh, on your screen and these are all these are all of the add-ons that you need. This is these are all the, the add-ons I've ever used. First is neat neat plates, nameplate SCT, weak auras, big debuffs, Omni CC, and then the rest of them questy details, which is that for your damage meter, auction faster, Atlas loot. You can get those if you want to, but the main ones is the ones that it says done. Neat plates. Nameplate, SET, Weak Auras, Big Devups, Omni CC. Those are the main ones. And it's a really easy setup here I'm going to show you guys. Super easy setup. Okay. So we're done with that. Choosing enemy units here. Okay. Um, we're going to go here somewhere safe real quick so I don't get attacked. Uh, and then we go to Interface. Of course, Add-ons. And then big devups, pretty simple and big devups here. Okay, make sure you click on the tab nameplates. You make sure you're on name nameplates, which I'm already on. Okay, and then you know just leave everything as as is. Um, the biggest thing, then the most important thing is the anchor. You ma you, you make sure you want you want to um, select left because it's default to like top, 
and then the size I have it at 40 and then the offset you see the X offset is at minus 5 and the Y offset is at 5 so it's kinda like the way it is is set it looks perfect the way it's it uh, set up so that's it that's it for big devops pretty simple left make sure you choose left on the anchor and then you have the size and then the the X and Y offset and then nameplates SCT you want to scroll all the way up okay you have my the animation speed well before we go to animation speed you want to make sure this is unchecked everything else is checked this is unchecked everything else is checked animation speed 1.5 you can increase it lower it or whatever but I like 1.5 the animations under animations you want the abilities you select fountain you select for for abilities you like select fountain criticals you want select fountain uh, miss parry dodge etc I set it up on rainfall auto attacks and criticals you want it on fountain and then in big and crits checked and same font thick outline is selected and then text shadow this is clicked that should be yellow and then uh, and then it's, it's gonna scroll down we're gonna scroll down here speed it up a little bit okay so we just scroll down okay so just follow all of this same thing under the appearance slash offsets okay and then on the uh, on the Y offset I have it at 38 this is at the X is at 0 so under appearance slash offsets X is, is 0 and then Y offset is 38 all right let's move forward and then of course yeah you already know to keep everything just follow everything that you see on the screen scroll a little bit further down and then on for the icons you see how big the icons were the icon scale is 133 percent just keep everything checked here but icon scale 133 percent and then uh, position is left leave everything else as, as is personal SCT animations that is your the damage you're taking I have everything on vertical down okay this unchecked but I selected purple for the color default uh, color you can select red you can say like whatever color you want it's that this is the damage you're taking the offset for X is at 65 and Y is at minus 33 so I'm just showing it pointing it out so you don't miss anything just follow everything make sure you follow everything exactly how it is and then it's gonna scroll we're gonna scroll all the way down to the end and pretty much uh, pretty simple just this is at 33 under under text formatting and then the uh, under off target text appearance that should be it I think that's is that 27 default but here you uncheck everything except for in big and crits and then in big and crits I put it at 1.74 anything bigger than that makes it so big extra big crits but just 1.74 for me okay and we're pretty much done with nameplates SCT okay okay so now we go to neat plates so neat plates you have the the it has a drop down you see this this right here there's a drop down so on the drop down it says default profile uh, but we'll we'll get to that so first part is neat plates and the only thing you have to worry about on neat plates is the theme you select blizzard you gotta make sure you select blizzard because it defaulted to something else it was defaulted to something else but select blizzard and then actually I, I take that back so this is something that you don't have to do but I do it because um, if if you don't then the B 
big debuff that appears on the left is also going to appear on the top of the nameplate. So I want to exclude all of the debuffs, the stuns, the sap, everything that is a stun and even like a uh, if it's cripples you or slows you down I add it on here so it doesn't rip because then you're seeing it both on the left side and on the top but some of you may like that so <clears throat> you add you just make sure you type in the correct spelling of the name okay you just click on add new aura and then the name of it and then you select exclude and then that's it you move on to the next one you want to add you and just keep adding it and you, you may have several of them so yeah exclude okay all right for underneath plates when we go on um I'm just showing to make sure there's nothing else on name neat plates the first part of it then the second part of it right here underneath it okay this is the part where you want to focus on um, you want to select the icon style to compact because it's defaulted to wide I don't the wide looks funny and then the actual size you want it at 147 or 150 okay and then that's it for it for that and don't worry about omni cc don't do anything about that just leave it there it's uh, and and that's pretty much it that's all you need okay you got any more questions or if you miss anything just uh hit me up and then uh, we're going to showcase some more of uh, how it all looks like. Here we go. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. Look at that stun. Look at how beautiful that is. Look at that. Missed. Mm. Sinister strike. Mm. Mm. He hit me for six damage. Mm. Gouged. Got stunned. Mm, eviscerate for 27 overkill game over ggs yeah sage optimus is back we out here <laughs> one more again mm, backstab 25 damage eviscerate only nine damage what the heck man that was low <laughs> that's it folks